Hello guys, this is Tobias from Vivid Blogs. With me tonight I have Jacob and Ron. And we just saw the jury final here at Melody Festivalen. And this is what we think about tonight's show. The first artist tonight was Ace Wilder with Wild Child. Jacob, what do we think about it? I really like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's happy, I think it's colorful, it puts me in a good mood. I don't really like the intro, but I love the chorus. I think it's going to do really well, and I think it can finish top five. Top five, wow. And what about you, Ron? This one, I think, was growing on me, because at the beginning, I don't... I mean, I liked it, but it wasn't one of my favorites, but it's a very good opener. It makes you feel good. It's Ace is a professional, and... It's a great song. Yeah. Great opener. I like her as an artist, but I don't see this song as strong as her two previous songs. Uh, I mean, we're always going to compare her to uh, um, Busy Do Nothing, Busy Do Nothing yeah. 2014. Uh, and I don't know, I think it's kind of a weak song from her. Uh, and it's not going to get better because she's going to be the first artist so I think a lot of people actually forget about her because uh, yeah it's not a strong song she doesn't no. usually do that well in the voting on Sweden uh, the jury likes her usually but this time but the Swedish she... audience kind of yeah so no, I, I disagree I think because yeah. it's the opener I think it stands out and I think people will remember it and it's so simple in a way um, I think it's weaker than Busy Doing Nothing. I think it's better than her other song, but yeah, I don't know. I like it. Next up is Boris Rene with her kiss. Is he going to get any kiss from you, Ron? I will. Uh, <laughs> anyway, he's, he's a professional. He's a dancer, he's a singer. Everything looks really good. The song may be a bit retro and not so contemporary, but it makes you feel great. It's a great, great tune for me. Yeah, I like the energy he gives on stage. He yeah. has like great charisma. Got he something. got the moves. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I would I compare compare him to last year, and I still think his song last year was better, stronger. Um, yeah, I don't see him placing very high this year. No, um, but yeah, what do you think, Jacob? Um, I thought his song last year was okay. I think his song this year is. To me, it's really boring. Um, it doesn't give me anything. I'm sorry. It doesn't really give me boring. anything. It's not really boring. <laughs> um, it has boring. nothing special about it, and I don't think people will vote for it. I think this is the, the last place. Sorry, Boris. Next up is Lisa Ajax with I Don't Give Up. And she changed her lyrics just for the final. She used to use the F word a total of 10 times, and now they change it to... I don't give a damn. But as you know, it's only for the jury final. Tomorrow she's going to say fuck. Really? Again, yeah. Ah, she wants to be polite. Yeah. Oh. So it's only for the international juries. I think that's kind of weird because if she actually wins... She doesn't give up. <laughs> doesn't give up. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know about Lisa this year. Uh, I think it's kind of childish. I, I liked her song last year more. It was more mature. It was more woman. This is more like pop, teenage, pink room. I don't know. It's not my cup of tea at all. I mean, it's nice. I like the message of it. Um, um, but the performance on stage doesn't really do it for me. I mean, she's a great singer, but um, it doesn't really one of my favorites. And it's not a tune that I really want to play again. Sorry, Lisa. I disagree with you again. Oh, yeah. I think I don't really <laughs> like the intro. It's the same with Ace. I don't really like the intro, but I think the chorus is extremely good. It's super catchy. You remember it after one listen. She's so cute. She's so pretty. Um, I, I really like it. I think her song last year was really <laughs> underwhelming. Um, I'm not sure how well she will actually do, but I think she's going to do like fairly well. Maybe top eight or something but I, I like it I hope she will do better but I don't think she will yeah it's a, it's a very catchy song like it's easy to remember it's it. very easy to remember but that's always a good I thing I think it's also too repetitive it's very repetitive so I, but I, I, I like I, I, get, I get 45 <laughs> times I don't give up so I guess it's catching <laughs> yeah, totally but no it, it just makes me I just get bored 
Yeah, I, I, I need some more yeah, variety mm-hmm. to the yeah. song. But she doesn't give up anyway. No, she doesn't give up. Next up, we have Robin Bengtsson with I Can Go On. And I have to say, I really like this. This is like one of my favorites this year. Actually, mm-hmm. maybe my, yeah, the favorite that I want to see winning. Uh, the song is so much stronger than his uh, song last year. Uh, it's a great uh, staging. Um, they're very creative. I like the thread, treadmill with the, the dancers. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's just really catchy. It's a good song. Uh, yeah, I like it a lot. I can just put it into one sign. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. I yeah. mean, he's a very good looking. He's a good singer. Yes, it's ice. And he, this performance keeps you, uh, especially when you watch it on the TV screen, um, you watch it like you can't take your eyes off uh, this performance. It's amazing. Uh, okay, I disagree with you <laughs> again. Uh, I think I, I said I like Lisa's song because it's so catchy and repetitive. Uh, Robin's song is also really repetitive, but I don't like it because it says this, I can't go on, I can't go on, it's so boring. Uh, I think the performance is really good. I love the treadmill thing. It looks very professional, one of the most professional looking acts, mm-hmm. but the song underwhelming. He sings well, he looks well. Uh, it looks good, but not my style. Mm. Sorry. But I also like the fact that he starts, he doesn't start at stage, he starts no, that's behind something the brand stage. New. Yeah, I like and it. And maybe it's going to be more common in the future. Yeah. It looks really good on TV. Because it's it original. Can, it yeah. is. Yeah. And it, it feels more professional. Like, because he, start, he starts backstage, then he walks it's in. It's your vision already. Yeah. Let's put it that Yeah, way. it is, actually. Okay. It's good. Next up, we have Jun Hendrik featuring Anemia. Right? Uh, and they sing En Vär Full of Strider. I can't pronounce this Salmon language, I'm sorry for that. But it's guys, okay. <laughs> what do you think about Jun Henrik and Anina? Um, I loved Jun Henrik in 2015. Uh, I love this song. I was a little bit nervous this year because he's going to bring another person on stage, but I think it works really well and I think they work really well together. I love how their voices interact. and. I think it's a really, really good song, and I think he's extremely, extremely charming. Uh, I think it goes through the screen, and I think it will go through people's hearts all over Sweden, and probably also the international juries. I think this is one of the strongest songs of the final. Yeah, I actually can agree with you. Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I really like this a lot. It feels a little bit magical, slash yeah, frozen, mysterious. mysterious. It's very Scandinavian, very Nordic. And I think that appeal, uh, it's very appealing to a lot of people. Uh, I think this will do well among the international jury and also the TV viewers. And I think he might be top three at mm-hmm. least. Um, yeah, it's really good. I hope if he wins, I hope they will change it into English. Because really, will, no, I hope they. Yeah, yeah. I hope they I like it as it is. I don't like it I've, in English. I think. Uh, really. I think it sounds uh, much better in Swedish. I don't know. The Swedish is adding to this mysterious vibe of this song, yeah. and you don't really have to know Swedish to I think understand the it. English will. You, best everyone try can it. take it to their own place and. This song is kind of stands out, uh, let me put it this way, from the other songs, but mm. it's something unique yeah. and beautiful, we must say. Song number six is Anton Hagman. What do we think about Anton? Beautiful guy, singing a very mm. catchy song, very simple staging, although many um, clever shots, I think. Like when he starts the song, he has like four cameras standing behind or in front of him. Um, he's giving, I think, his best. It's, it's, it's a catchy song. It's a song I would play again and again. But in this tough competition, I'm, I don't know. Maybe the girls will vote for him, but I don't know how the jury will rank him. Mm-hmm. No, I think I agree with almost everything you say. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, I Finally. really, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really, really like it. I think it's super, like Lisa. It's super catchy, and you remember it. And he, he also. I don't know, I can't explain it, but he goes to the screen uh, in a really good way, more than most of the other artists. It seems very honest. I really like it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like him as well. I first of all, I, when I first heard him, I didn't like him that much, to be honest. But the song has grown on me, and I like him more and more the more I hear mm-hmm. it. Mm. Uh, and we interviewed Anton uh, yesterday, and he explained to us that he received so much negative feedback from fans over from, from Europe about, about beating Lorene. Yeah, and from you guys. So behave. <laughs> the truth. I don't know. It feels kind of unfair to him because it's not his fault, and he's eighteen. <laughs> he's eighteen. Yeah. yeah, he's charming. People like him. He seems shy. He seems like a really nice guy. Yeah. He's got nothing against Lorene. It was just the duel he had. Yeah. That's it. Next up is Marriott with A Million Years. Jacob, what do you think about Marriott this year? I liked her in 2015 and I like her this year. I, I think her last song was maybe a little bit better, but I think she's also doing really well this year. The staging is amazing and she sings well. Top three contender for sure. Yeah, I have to agree with you, Jacob. Uh, I think Marriott is one of the strongest songs or artists this year. Uh, and I really, really like her staging because she also brings something more unique about it. She has these four dancers with the bungee jumps from the ceiling. It's very new. It's very modern. Uh, it's just, I like it. It's a, it's a really good song. I can see this being played on the radio and international. Ron? For me, it's a good song. I think in 2015, I felt it's a more powerful song, more, I don't know, fits her in a way. Um, and this time, yeah, the performance is amazing. The staging is wow. Um, I'm just uh, afraid for the dancer that are hanging and jumping, and <laughs> it's so scary. Um, but yeah, it's one of the, the, the best songs, the uh, performances this year, but... I, for me, it's not the winner, um, but she's giving her best. She sounds great. She looks great. Her dancers are amazing. Well done. Yeah. And next up is Fo and O. What do you think about Fo and O? For me, they're my probably my biggest grower. I didn't like it at all in the semifinal, and nor in Andra Shanksen, but especially tonight during the jury final. Something clicked. I think they did really well. I think they perform well. They sing well. It's not going to win. It's probably not going to be top five. But it's a good, decent effort. And they do a really good job. I, it, I like it more and more. Yeah. Yeah, for me, it's, it's been growing more and more the more I listen to it. Uh, first, I thought it was too... I don't know how to say it. But yeah, it's been growing more and more on me, for sure. Uh, tonight, they did a great job. They removed the elevator from the semi-final and they, uh, they removed, removed that and they added this backflipping yep. kind of stuff. It was very cool. Um, but I like the song, it's catchy. Not winning, no, no. not at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I could see this in maybe top five, I mm. think. I think it will, the jury will like it, I think. Yeah, you, the international jurors are impossible <laughs> to predict. We've seen yeah. that many times. So we never know. What do you think, Ron, about Fono? For me, it's also a grower, because in the beginning, I mean, it's a catchy song, but it's kind of, I expected more than a boy band um, song that we could hear, I don't know, a few years back. Um, they are very charismatic and, um, you know, talented guys, and they're very cute, and uh, we had a great interview with them. Um, it's not one of my favorites, but it's a very catchy tune that I would love to hear again and again. Not a winner, but a nice performance by F O and O. Yeah. Song number nine is Nono with Hold On. And this is one of my again, one of my top three. Uh, I think Nono is just incredible. The song is a hit on the radio. Um, there's so much good potential in this song, I think, personally. Um, staging, not so exciting, maybe. But the song is catchy, and he tells us a story. I just like this so much. I don't know about you. No, I agree yeah. with you. I don't have anything more to say. <laughs> I think I, I like it. It's really good. Yep. Wrong. I think maybe... I don't know if people connecting also on a personal level to the story of Nano. 
Um, but this message, as when we add his personal story, the message is that just getting bigger and more powerful. And this performance is done also very wisely. I like the dark uh, element of it. Yeah. And um, very powerful song by Nano. Yeah. And Nano has also been one of the favorites to win this. Yeah, well. since the first semi-final. Yeah. I have a feeling in Sweden he's going to get very high in the rankings. Mm -hmm. It's all a question about the juries now. How yeah. well will they rank him? Yeah. Song number 10 is Victoria with As I Lay Me Down. What do we think about her? Uh, this is now the big favorite to win. And um, in a way she does everything right. She sings well, she looks good. It's a great song and it's great staging. For me, it's something missing. I don't know what it is, but it's just something missing. I think it's the most likely winner. I can see it finished in second with international juries and second with the televoting, but combined, I think it can very well win. Yeah. Ron? Uh, I think this one is growing on me as well. I think she's done wisely changing the dress. She's looking mm -hmm. astonishing. And her voice is amazing live. And we finally got to hear it today because all the rehearsal was uh, playbacks for her. She was, I don't know, saving her voice. And she, I love the bed, the beautiful lead bed. And I'm, I want to buy it on Ikea, but I don't <laughs> get it. It, look, it looks beautiful. The song is kind of also not very 2017. Um, but it is one of the powerful uh, songs, I think, and she's clear, a clear favorite. So also in, on the Swedish uh, voting, I'm sure she'll get a very high rank, and we'll see how the juries will like it. Yeah, compared and to I the think other it's songs. So impressive because she actually lies down singing, that and that, that must be yeah. hard. That must be yeah. so That's difficult. It's very hard to lie down and sing. Yeah, and, and she does it so, so well. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, so she's impressive. She's she's Victoria, like, wow. you are amazing. <laughs> yeah, you are. You really are. She's really good. Yeah, she has a perfect voice. She is amazing. Um, I, I don't know. Either you kind of like this or you kind of hate it. I'm more about. I'm. I. I, I kind of dislike this song. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> we still love well, you. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's cool with different opinions. No, because celebrate diversity. <laughs> I, I can't put words on it. Why? But just doesn't connect to you yeah or she's because uh, i think i have a little bit of the same problem yeah it's something i know she, she, you like retro songs <laughs> she she is on the top charts uh, charts in um in iTunes, Spot whatever, yeah, yeah spotify uh she has one of the highest views on youtube yeah. so I, sh I think she has she will do really well tomorrow uh personally i don't like this i i don't like country music that much yeah. And this is actually country. I don't yeah. like it too, but Victoria makes me like it. Mm. Makes me like this one. I don't know. Song number eleven is Benjamin in Grosso. Ron, this kid is talented. Uh, he got it. I don't know from his mother and father. Uh, but he's done so many things before, so it's not his first time. He's a pro. He knows how to dance. He knows how to sing. He sings very well. And I think they they um, like make the, the performance looks very much uh, better in this new uh, in this new uh, way they're presenting it on stage. He has also uh, great uh, dancers. It's not one of my favorite songs, I have to say. Um, but it's well done, I guess. I don't know how it will go for Benjamin, but we still love you. A <laughs> um, bit underwhelming for me. Um, he looks good, he yeah. sings well, it's just the, the song, um, I don't like it. Um, I like the staging, it looks good, but uh, no, not my style. I have to agree with you, it's not, I think, it takes me back to 1950 or 60, I don't know. Yeah, it's retro. It's very old school, I don't know. Uh, no, it's not my cup of tea at all. No. No. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> no. Final song. The last song is Uwe. What do we think about Uwe? I don't know what to say about this. I mean, I really appreciate to see this um, very uh, not young uh, man on stage. 
Um, you cannot just, you know, feel uh, so much love for him st being on stage at such an age. Um, he's got a great team behind it on, st on stage, beautiful three ladies and the band. And it's, it's pretty cute performance, but it's really not a song I would like to hear. <laughs> like, I didn't get how he managed to get to the final, but you no, go, that's man. A, that's you a go. big question mark, actually. Personally, I hate this. I, yeah. I, yeah, I don't like this at all. I just want Maybe to I'm too serious like. about this competition, but I think if Lur he's in the final, Lurin Lurin yeah. isn't. That's weird. But yeah, for me, I'll g I give this zero points. I don't like this at all. Sorry, Uwe. Yeah, I, I actually kind of agree with you. It's not my style at all, but I think at the same time, uh, he on stage, it's something very pure and honest about the whole song. So I kind of like it, even if I don't like it at all. But I, I like the message behind it and I like seeing such an old man because yeah. he's an old man in, in the Metal D Festival and final. It's yeah. amazing. I think the Swede, uh, the televoting is going to give him a lot of points. I think it, so as well. Yeah. International juries, no idea. Yeah. I think it's a cute uh, closure for the it final. Is. And it's a little bit, maybe a little bit similar to Hasse uh, in exactly. some ways. Yeah, and yeah. he finished fourth, but at the time you didn't have the app. So I, um, I think Uwe is going to do not that well with the televoting. But funny to say, think, yeah. when we interviewed the artists downstairs, um, there were so many teenagers screaming for Uwe. Yeah, they loved yeah, yeah, this guy. Yeah. I was surprised. Yeah. Um, so that's maybe. cute. Yeah. It's no, I cute. think he's gonna do really well with the Swedish televoting. I think so as well, actually. Okay, guys. So that was all the twelve songs for the final tomorrow. And Ron, who do you think will win? Or say your top three. I don't know actually. For me, I think Robin is number one. And I also like Tune Henrik and Aninia. And Mariette, that's the top three for me. About the winner, I, it's really, I think, an open competition this year. So, and I don't know well how the jury will select and how the Swedish will pick their top, uh, top song. So, it's going to be an exciting uh, competition yeah, on Saturday. For sure. Jacob? Uh, I think I have to say, um, first of all, the average quality is really, really good. I think last year's final was horrible. There was one good song. Luckily, it won. <laughs> this year, I think there were so many really good songs. I disagree. I think um, yeah. my top three. It's very difficult, but I think Lisa Ajax, my number three. Uh, my number two, uh, Jon Henrik and Aninia. Oh. And I think actually my number one now is actually Anton. I think the song is really? so catchy. Yes, wow. it's so catchy. Wow. It goes through your heart. Love it. I think he can do quite well, not winning, but maybe top five. Interesting. Uh, I would say my number three would be, what I think would be top three is Victoria. My number two would be Jon Hendrik. And I think the winner will be Robin. Yay. You think he's going to win, yeah. really? Yeah, I think he will win. I'm not sure mm. he has and enough mm. fans because that. Last year he didn't do that well, and he also had a great song last year, but we're hoping for you, Robin. Yeah. Mm, I'm not. You. Sorry. <laughs> but you, you can <laughs> offer it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what we think. But what do you think? Let us know here on Weebly Blogs. See you later. Bye. Bye.